Hello everyone, my name is Andrew Briggs, and today I'm going to be re reviewing the LEGO Ninjago Dragon's Forge. It's a number 70627 with 1,137 pieces and for ages 8 and up. And of course, I'm not reviewing this set alone. I'm reviewing it with my brother, Andrew. Hey guys. And this is his set, and he was kind enough to let me review it. So, we'll get started. First, we'll take on the minifigures out. And then, what's what the goal is, is that... Um, um, he's going to review the dragon, and then I'm going to review the forge, and the buff million. So, do you want to start us off with what? the dragon? If I can, give me a second to move the forge out the way. Right. Yes. So, this is my favorite part of the build, because of how it looks so cool, and with these really cool fans wings. You got red and blue for fire and water. And you got this water stud shitter. Bowcaster. You go like that. And this these fire and water heads. And you can see the eyes have been switched. The water dragon part has red eyes and this one has blue eyes. So that makes it really cool. And it does that in the back right here. Those zigzags. You have like in the focus real quick. Alright. Yeah, two seats are Kai and Nia. And it has their symbols right here from their entrances. Nia symbol and Kai's, or fire and water symbol. And it has these legs with toenails. And this one's blue and red. Fire and water. And now we move on to the tail, which has this nice giant sword katana piece really cool on the back of there and of course this the water ones on the fire part and this oh i forgot to mention the swords on the wings which is makes it really cool and these weapons and nexo shields too so that makes the dragon really cool all right sorry there was a dragon yes Alright, so now I'm going to review the Forge. Okay, so before I actually review the Forge, I want to review the Buff Million, which is this giant um, vermilion snake kind of huge armor. And you see it has the big, big arms in red. And it's also got the hands as different red kind of um, sharp claws for hands. And it's on either side. And it's also got the new snake piece. Which is just the um, the snake, and it has the clip at the end. The snake with the clip at the end. And then those just clip into spots on the familiar mech. And it's also got this kind of um, helmet piece up here. And it can swivel. And then near the back, it's almost identical printing. And then you have its, its tail. And then there's dark gray printing all around the back. But on the front, there's actually some nice hands at times kind of, like you see the clock kind of belt. And you also see the metal and then the snakes kind of um, in the metal for the um, buff million. Because, you know, snakes are in it. All the million snakes are in it. So, alright, now I'm going to review the forge. So now I'm going to review the forge. And just to, for a quick overview, you can see how it has the nice patterned roof and then the um the fire and water kind of swords overlapping on each other and you see it also has the roof on the other side and just a little bit of foliage to the to the side and then um it's got some nice statues on the stairs and um just under the stairs you see the clips just under the stairs is actually this compartment and when you pull it out it reveals the fusion blade and there's um a part for that so if we close this up and open the forge up to its true glory the um there's a part where you can use the fusion blade doesn't matter what side you use you can just plug it into this technic hole right here and it'll spin the flames and then it will also spin the um features up top so you can see this kind of water picture of the it's mixing with the fire and you have the fire mixing with the water 
and you have the kind of like the dragons and then the um I think this is like the natural one the just the uh, um blacksmith shop kind of thing so more on this later but then now now that we're already inside the thing I might as well just take you through so these are like um kind of hammers to hammer down and mold the weapons so you see there's one on a, like the water base and then the other ones on a fire base and then you see these are just made out for Thor hammers and they just bounce up and down and up and down and over here to the left we have some of, you can see some of the outside and the big windows and then there's a nice flag with this sticker on it and we also have a sharpening wheel which spins around and then you also have this table but inside it is a Samurai X card that I cannot get out for some reason. There we go. Um, inside the table is this Samurai X card. And I'll let that be reviewed in the minifigures later. And you can also see this blacksmith symbol just right here. Then as then you can just see a bunch of weapons that they um that they have made. Kai and his parents, Ray and Maya, have made a bunch of weapons over there. And then you come over here. This is kind of like the weapon making area, and this is like the dining area. So you have um, you have the carpet here, and you can see it's ha it has a really nice kind of sticker. And then um, once again, you have the big window, and it's also got the lamp on top of it. And you have this new teapot kind of mold. It's got a wider mold than last the last teapot. And then there's some two two clear mugs and an oven and inside the oven is um, a plate of sushi. So right there, there is a plate of sushi and there's two of those in the set, one extra. So that's pretty nice to get and then you just put it in the oven or in the refrigerator. Then once that's there, and then you also see just the outside and this is where the feet blade is. That just goes inside there. And then also, if we take it around the back, you can see a nice chimney. And on the back, you can see this gear just rotates the thing more um, for a better view. And then up here, you might be wondering why there's this giant kind of smokestack. Well, if I take the dragon, let me get the dragon. Underneath, the dragon is this kind of square like piece or pin and if you put that on top of the forge let's see if we can get it bam all right you put it on top of the forge the dragon can stay on top of the forge like that and I think that's a really cool feature you don't have to go through like hours and hours of trying to position the dragon right you just have it on there. It's good for display, good for play, and yep, I like it. And now it's on to the minifix. Okay, guys, these are the minifigures, and first we're gonna do Kai. I like his uh, reversal timeline that he has right now, and he has one katana, up, and he's got a really mad face. I like the straps all around him. It's, of course, fire symbol, and he has some more straps down to the bottom. Mostly same on the back. Let's take the armor off here. See how he looks. He, he looks pretty good with his fire symbol here. His alternative fire symbol. And a really good uh, mental mad face. Let's put on his hair here. I think he looks much better with his hair. Next we're moving on to the uh, to the fusion blade here. And she has her hair too. She looks really good here. And same as Kai the Strath, but I like how it's blue. Not the same color as Jay though. 
and back printing looks pretty good. Mostly the same as Kai too. Again. Let's take the arm off too. And of course the same elemental face as Kai gets. Actually pretty tough. Next we have Kai and Nia's dad, Ray. He has this dragon symbol on him that looks sort of weird. And he's scared with this bandaid on top of his head and handcuffs. It goes with extra for Maya. And the back party, he has some straps around him and a smiling face. I think it's better. Better, cause it's always happy to see someone smiling. Spiky hair. Next we have Maya with really long hair and a bow staff. Let's take that hair off. See how she looks. We can see more of the printing. She just doesn't like the vermilion. And she has this really nice water printing. Makes me think of water a lot. And the tie. And a scared face. I don't think we have any of us like that. Next we have Commander Bong. He has this really cool sword. And uh, of course he has the time of Chronix and Crux printing. Let's take his armor off here. And he has a bunch of snakes, more snakes bulging out of his chest, and a really low unibrow. Who's leaving with a black face? Back face? It's the chip, too, which is weird. And some more roaring snakes. That doesn't look nice. He has a hat on him. Again, with those snakes, not such a pleasant sight. With the hands of time logo on, and an axe. I think his weapon and the other guy's weapon should have been switched. He has these trans snakes on top, which some, sometimes I wish they didn't have, so you can make a chronic and crux have this head piece. Because that's what they used in the TV show. And the feed printing is always nice too. You can see a tiny snake trying to see what's going on. He doesn't know he's being filmed though. Don't tell him. Oh, I can see some more snakes hissing at us. I don't know why. And it's all for a slack jaw. This we we have a Samurai X training card. Really looks like her. Sort of like a dra draft drawing of her, and some more that you can't read. They're too small and microscopic. Now we have a snake, well, uh, probably a rattlesnake, and his tongue is out, and he has his rattling back, and some eyes, and he has some eyes. Probably gonna make another slack draw of it. And it is an annoying snake. Oh, it comes with four more. If you like snakes, get this set. Please. Okay, so that was the review of my brother Andrew's Lego Ninjago Dragon Forge set. If you like what you see, please like, comment, and subscribe. As always, suggestions are hugely appreciated. And, yep, do you have anything to say before the review is over? Uh, I suggest getting this set a lot, including because of the dragon, one of the best parts to build. And the wings may seem hard to build, but well, at the end, it's all worth it. Alright, so that's what he said. And um, as always, suggestions are hugely appreciated. And I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.